Let's start with spear fishing. Spear fishing? For your understanding, spear fishing is another form of phishing email in which emails are sent to a small number of users but bigger effort is put into making the emails look like it has come from a very authentic site which is responsible for the organization. They may even profess to ascertain themselves as members of such a well-recognized organization which can take you into assurance that you are secure with your personal information shared to them. These spare phishing is attackers who attempt to send a message to lure a specific individual into divulging personal data to them. For an example, you can take the case of a fisherman aiming for one specific fish with a spear rather than just throwing a baited hook in the water. The attackers do their homework well to identify their targets by using information taken from social media and use fake or spoofed addresses to send emails that look authentic. Remember Rajesh, even if an email service provider may look very professional and may seem to belong to a responsible organization, they may be fake. That's very alarming ma'am. How can they harm us in any other ways? To understand such people, you will have to know about whaling and baiting. Whaling and baiting, does that also belong to the fishing category, ma'am? Definitely, Rajesh. Let me tell you more about whaling and baiting. Even if the world uses the email service providers of various organizations, many individuals still receive fraud emails from trusted sites which led to virus attacks to their personal systems or loss of valuable data. For this reason, we need to know about what whaling and baiting is in the cyberspace. 